Pays Extra. From Stony Brook Field, it's Chatham and Brewster. The Anglers Extra pregame show continues. He's Matt Hogan. I'm Ben Schulman. It's time for Catch of the Day. Matt, your Vanderbilt teammate, Max Romero, last game, hit three home runs to tie the Cape League record. What was it like to watch a guy that you've been friends with for years now have a performance like that? I mean, honestly, it's just one of the coolest things. I mean, you know, it's just one of your friends that you've just known for so long. And, you know, it's always nice to see, one, see someone like that have success. And I mean, he, he's just such a great teammate and he's always got my back and to go watch him go out there, see the ball look like a beach ball all day and just completely hit the ball over the fence every single time. It was, there's nothing better. I was so happy for him. There was a moment after one of the home runs where you two were seen hugging in the dugout. What was that like to share that experience? Oh, it's just sheer joy. That's all it is. You know, I mean, that's a kid who works his, his butt off every single day, you know, and he, he puts in the work and, you know, to see him go out there, get the results that he wants, that he should be getting from all the work that he's been putting in. It, it's just, it's overjoying. And I, I gave him that big hug because I was like, it's here, man. Like, it's happening. Like, keep going. It was a special night for Max Romero, a teammate of yours. There's another guy that you played with Vandy Spencer Jones over on this team. How special is he? He's he's awesome. I, I mean, he, he's super tall, man. I don't know if you ever sit next to him, but he's such a cool guy and so chill, so laid back, and he's just another great friend of mine. And he, he's just such a good player. I see they put him in center field now too. I saw him running down baseballs out there in warmups, and he's like a gazelle out there, man. He's moving quick. I haven't stood next to him, but I, I have a six foot five broadcast partner, so I think I have my my fair share of feeling short so far. But I'll, I'll go stand next to him pretty soon. Sure. Vandy obviously is all over the Cape League. Mm -hmm. What was your welcome to Vandy moment when you got there out of high school? Ooh, that's a really good question, honestly. I mean, uh, I, I wouldn't say it's uh, it, honestly the best moment that I can describe. And this was actually, it wasn't when I first got there, it was on my official visit there. Um, we were watching the team warm up, and I'll never forget this. There's a guy on the team named Walker Grisani. He's now the strength and conditioning coach there, or like the assistant strength and conditioning coach. And he was on the team at the time, and he was taking like, uh, it was like live ABs off of one of the pitchers. So one of the pitchers, he was in the box. He gets drilled in the arm, right? So he just walks away, shakes it off. Gets back in the box. The next pitch, he put a ball over the right field bleachers. As soon as I saw him do that, I was like, "That's that's Vanderbilt right there. That's that's the toughness that they look for." And uh, it was funny because it wasn't even the day that I got there. It was the day that I was on the official visit, and it was probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen to see a guy just wear one and then the next pitch just absolutely crush a bomb. When did you realize that you could fit into that environment? Um, honestly, it, it occurs during your freshman year at some point. Uh, it's more so fitting into the culture because it's so welcoming there. I mean, they, they, they take you in with ar arms wide open. Um, there's never any problems. The seniors, the older guys, they, they're, they're there to win, you know. Like, no one's there to put you down, push you away. They'll keep you level-headed for sure, but they're not going to push you away. And I think, you know, as soon as you walk in there, it's, it's very welcoming. So there's never really a feeling of not belonging there, I would say. We've talked about two of your position player teammates. Obviously, a pair of Vandy pitchers this year made a lot of noise. Jack Leiter, Kumar Rocker. When is a moment where you realize just how good those guys were? I mean, when I when I first saw Kumar my freshman year, I, I mean, he, would, he was always well-touted. He was always highly respected. And I think when I actually faced him for the first time, I realized just how good he was. I mean, his fastball had just explosive life out of his hand. His curveball was wiped out, and it was really tough to pick up out of the hand. Um, and I knew from pretty much the first moment meeting him, he just had this presence, this aura about him that was just so special. And, uh, and to add on top of that, Kumar is just like, he's one of the coolest guys you'll meet. He really is. I mean, he's very down to earth. Man, a few words, but he, when he talks, like everyone listens. Um, lighter, when he came in his freshman year, um, I, you pretty much understood right away. Uh, very down to earth kid. Honestly, if you're in a room with about a thousand people, uh, he, he would blend in pretty well, just because of his demeanors. He, he's not very, he's very humble. Like he's not going to go out of his way to tell everyone how good he is. Um, I've never actually tell, heard him say to anyone how good he is. He just lets his actions speak for for himself, and that's probably one of the best things about him is just his character alone. And I think when I first faced him in the fall, and he was punching 98 with a wipeout backdoor slider and it just I mean it, it was gross to watch it was gross to hit against and I mean he's just he's just a great, another great example of a great player that I just love being around those guys are big names Tom Holiday in the manager show called you the best kept secret in summer ball how do you feel about that 
That's that's very humbling. Um, I, I I don't know how I feel about that. That's just that's that's very kind of him to say, honestly. Uh, you know, I just I think it's just best if we you know st stick to the plan today and just just go out there and win. I try not to focus on you know who, who I, what I do and uh, stuff like that. I try to just focus on how much I can help the team. And uh, I mean, those are very very kind words coming from a man like him, especially. I mean, he has 40 plus years of experience in college baseball and baseball in general, and he's obviously has two great sons. I mean, I don't. I it's just. He's got a lot of experience. To hear someone say something like that about me is it leaves you speechless. It really does. Well, it's not about you, but you're a big part of the effort today. We'll see if you guys can pick up a win. Thanks for coming on Catch of the Day. Thank you so much for having me. That is Vanderbilt outfielder Matt Hogan. He is in the lineup today. We'll talk about where he fits in and everyone else around him coming up. First, let's send it back to Emmanuel Barbari.